on how um, I paint some of these cups. Um, this one I've already started, but I'm going to use this cup as an example of how I do them um, from from start to finish. This is actually a, a used cup. Obviously, you can see the dent there. Um, but somebody wanted to make this look like an American flag, um, so that's what I'm going to do. So I cut out um, from my machine uh, vinyl stars that I put on here, and I staggered them. You can see it's three and two and three and two and just like how the flag looks. Um, so the top up here is going to be navy blue and the bottom is going to be uh, red and white stripes. So every other stripe is going to be red and white. And it's gonna, I'm going to try to make it kind of faded into the red and white at the bottom. Um, we'll see how that comes out. But um, And then when it's all done um, of course, I'm going to put a two-part epoxy on top of it. Um, but at first, what I do, or what I did here, is I always tape off the bottom just because um, it gets a lot of abuse at the bottom. Now, when people are using them, whether you're putting it down somewhere or you're putting it in a cup holder or something, whatever it is, I mean, the, the, the bottom, especially the bottom here, um, always go it gets abused pretty bad. Uh, if you do put the two-part epoxy on it, it should hold up really well. But uh, to just take that factor out, um, I I like the look of it also when this is taped off. Um, so I I always tape the bottom off, um, the top as well. I take off just a little bit off the top, um, just so your lips not touching uh, the paint finish. Um, so I try to make it just enough to where um, it's okay and you're not touching it. Um, so I use the tape to cut it off at the bot at the top here. Now I'm going to take the lid that the cup comes with and just stuff it with plastic. Make sure that there is no holes, obviously, in the plastic here on the top. Um, so I put the you know the top in there, twist up the bag, drop it in after I put the tape on. I uh, tuck the the tape inside the cup and then put the top on and it's sealed really well um, a lot of the cups I do dip uh, people call it different things it's like a swirl dip hydro dip and I believe a hydro dip is more like a um, more like a screening on the cup um, which in my opinion I'm not too crazy about because if that ha you know you scratch that or something it's just I mean it's you know it's kind of ruined um, but with the epoxy on top of this, it's really, really strong. And it's, I mean, scratch resistant and everything. So um, I like to use the epoxy on top of it. But, um, and after everything is taped off, I took a bonding primer. Uh, the, you can get um, a bunch of different places. Um, Home Depot and Lowe's. Um, you really can't find it so much there. Um, I have a local hardware store here, uh, Orchard Hardware, that does have the bonding primer. And also Sherwin-Williams also has a bonding primer uh, that they make with their name on it. That's actually really, really good. Um, uh, let's see, but this one, I, I believe this one came from um, Orchard, I believe. But Okay, so I sprayed it with the bonding primer on top of it. And then being that the bottom is going to go uh, red and white, made sure that, you know, the bottom is covered in the white really, really well. Because um, then I'm going to go back and take a, about an inch and a half uh, blue tape and put the blue tape on here straight up, you know, vertically um, to do, you know, every other stripe red and white. Um, so I am going to tape it off now. And um, I'll come back and show you what that looks like. Um, and after I tape it, when I put the red, I put a real light coat on first on the red. Um, because you're going over white and it's going to take, you know, a few coats. So instead of putting it on really heavy and getting it covered at first, um, I do a real light coat first. I let it dry and then I come back and do, you know, a second coat and a third coat if it's necessary. Um, usually on the top coat paint. Also, I like to use 
Krylon paint. Uh, I find that it dries uh, much faster than most sprays. And um, usually when you take things off like this, the vinyl stickers and stuff, it leaves really nice sharp lines. Um, you know, it, it depends on, I guess, where you are, you know, because um, where I am, Krylon sometimes on certain colors is is hard to find. Uh, rust -Oleum seems to be a bigger brand. I mean, I prefer Krylon, but um, you know, rust -Oleum also takes a long time to dry. And uh, sometimes with these cups, um, you know, waiting overnight regardless is probably the best thing to do. I mean, even when I use Krylon, I wait overnight. Um, just like this one, I had sprayed this white. Um, so it's definitely ready to be taped off. Uh, but sometimes the rust -Oleum just takes forever to dry and just sometimes it just doesn't really work out too well. So I try to take that out of um, running into a problem when doing the cups. But all right, so I am going to tape this off, spray it red, and I will come back and show you how it looks. All right, so this is what the cup looks like um, before I start putting... Uh, the red and white stripes on it. You can see I taped taped it off. So these stripes where the blue tape is is going to stay white and then the insides here are going to be red. Uh, I put a piece of brown tape or paper, sorry, around the top here um, just to cover uh, some of the overspray. It's really not a concern unless I would have taped it here um, just because this whole top is going to go blue where the stars are. Um, and the blue is, the navy blue is going to come down to here. Um, so I'm just going to come up um, to right about here with the red, but I'm just going to concentrate on this area, getting that. And I will come back and show you what that looks like uh, with the red stripes. This is what the cup looks like so far. Uh, still not done with it yet. Um, this is the stripes, red and white stripes. The top is blue. Um, so I'm not done with the blue yet. Now what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to fade the blue into the red and the white and then take my tape off and get it ready for the two-part epoxy. Alright, so this is what the cup looks like after you do the fading. Take the tape off and you do the fading back into red and the white to uh, make it look American flag. I took the stars, I took the vinyl off the stars already and retaped it just so you can see what it looks like. Uh, now it's ready for the epoxy. Okay, so that's what it looks like. And here's the three stars, two stars, three stars, two stars. I staggered it like that uh, to make it look more realistic like the flag. And that's it. Now it is ready for epoxy. This is how the American flag cup looks with the two-part epoxy on it. Remember, there's a dent right there. Remember this is a used cup. But that's it. Alright. Let's put the light on here. You can probably see it a little better. It's very glossy, so it's reflecting a lot, but alright, so this one's it, it's done.